Evening, Lieutenant. Lydia Clarkson, Lannerfield. Good evening, ma'am. Lieutenant Pauls, welcome to Jackson. God only knows what the hell happened out there. Let's find out. Miss Greer, thank you. Yeah. I'm Special Agent Lydia Clarkson. I'm going to be handling your case from here on in. They needed some help. See, medical already checked you out. And besides some bruises and dehydration, seems you're in remarkable My conditions. Girls. Yes, your, your daughters, they're fine. And they're here, right on the Coast Guard base. Yes, I know that, but I want to see them. You have to help me get to them. I will. I just need you to compromise with me. And tell me what happened on the boat. We can start by telling me what is the last thing you remember? Sarah? How did you end up floating on debris in the middle of open channels? Sarah? David. He tried to fight it, but... In the end, he couldn't. So I put her on the bottom of the sea. Why haven't you told anybody this before? Because they wouldn't believe me. And neither will you. Talk to me. What happened? Evil needs a body to exist. The body was that boat. Mr. Jacksonville, this is Marlon. We are on scene with what appears to be an abandoned vessel. Marlon, Roger. Request vessel description and persons on board. Such are no activity or visible persons aboard. Vessel is a sailboat. Shows signs of damage due to prolonged time at sea. Name of vessel is Mary. Mike, Alpha, Romeo, Yankee. Launching boarding team to investigate. Marlon, Roger. All standing by for boarding update. One boarding sailing vessel, Mary. Clear.
Good. You have a good time. That's great. Thanks. Hey, Brian, that's a that's a nice red. Hey, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, fill out Brian's red, will you? Yeah. I've got this guy, David Greer. Of course he'll work on the holidays. My guy, and a bust his ass for him. Future charter, sire. Come on, opening bit starts in ten. Beautiful specimen. German built. 36 tons. You know your ships. Uh, my father had one for years. Ketch was the first boat I ever set foot on. <sighs> Makes me feel like a kid just looking at it. They don't make them like this anymore. She has a soul. Indeed. Just needs to find her captain. Get out here and help your sister set the table. I don't want a tattoo. Tommy said it didn't hurt. Tommy has mutilated enough of his body. It's all numb to him. Mommy, it feels weird. You know the drill, crap cakes. You gotta stop wiggling it. It'll come out when it's ready. But I don't want to do now. Go, go, go help your sister. Hey, hey, how'd the resume look? Surprise. Mary? That's my name. And her name is Mary. How more perfect can they get? David, you told me you were just going to take a look, and that was supposed to be the Resmondo. Yeah, I had to make a choice. I got some distress, but she's pretty healthy for an old gal. Sounds like dog poop. <laughs> That's rotten wood. It even has some ramshackle on the deck, see? What's that? Bits and pieces of other ships, even older. This is the, the find of a lifetime. It's special. Okay, and 
How are we even supposed to come up with the other 180 minus the deposit? We sell the cars and we go from there. Mike said he would come in as a side Mike partner for 20. Mike Mike's supposed to stop you from doing something stupid like this. David, David. We have to be practical. Practical. Sarah, God knows we've been through the mill this year and I am not getting any younger. I need to captain my own boat. It's the only way to get ahead. I can't work for Jay Scraps for the rest of my life. We can fix up the home and make this a family cruise and take people anywhere they want to go. And even better, it comes with a story. Uh, set sail on the mysterious Mary Gale. You're supposed to have a fishing oh. boat, not a goddamn tourist trap. Mary has to go to the bathroom. Does the head work? I don't know, baby. That's an outstanding question. David, does the head work? No. Uh, uh, Marina's closest. I'll go. I need some fresh air. It's almost hell in here. Hey, there are spiders, too, just so you know that. Yeah, I'm sure we paid extra for those. Hundred and sixty with the work. We'll never turn a profit in the first two years. Yeah, it'll take a miracle to renovate a home. I know. Look, I'm sorry. I, uh, I should have called you first. But there was, I don't know, something about her. I, I, I can't, I can't explain it. I was just, I was just drawn to her. Why? It's a 50-year-old catch with a siren bust, and it needs work. So do we. I, I just thought that this was something that we could finally make ours. That was something that could take us to a, a better place. I'm sorry. No, David, stop. Please, don't... Ask for my forgiveness. I... I'm the one that needs forgiving. I'm the idiot. Please forgive me. I do. I have. Okay? And, and you're right. It's a... It's a hunk of an old ship. There's something about it that feels right. It feels like us again. In this boat. I see our future. Future with a rusted hull and torn sails and a clogged uh, toilet. And, and, and spiders. <laughs> Don't forget the spiders. So when do we launch?
Okay, rabbit goes through the hole. Yep. Around the tree. Mm-hmm. Out of the hole. <laughs> and then this hole. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I feel Take like some <laughs> practice. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> Clear 220 to Abaco. We'll make the turn at Harold's K at around 14 knots and then full sailing into Hamilton. Abaco to Bermuda. Hell of a final stretch, Cap. You know, it's all blue and, and we'll have the wind at our back in bottom reserve. All right. Okay, official family test run, 6 a.m. All hands on deck. <laughs> are treading the cursed waters of the devil's triangle in a right ghost ship. Jay, put down that Cuervo and quit scaring my young into death. I'm not scared, Mommy. I think it's cool. And she has my name. Yeah, who was Mary anyway? Uh, some determined. Uh, last owner was William Samfrey. He was a naval officer from Georgia. The plan was to travel the world. And though. instead, the ship turned up empty. Everybody missing in the high seas. I'd hate to lose a good captain. If I were you, I would double check all those Coast Guard salvage reports. Yeah, well, those reports, they are checked out. Don't mean they're right. In these very waters, there's a dozen ships which just found floating all by their lonesome. No crew, no evidence of piracy, nothing. You ever wonder what happened to those people? Yeah, well, there's always gonna be a mystery or two behind a ship. It, it adds to the spirit. Oh, heck. Ghost ship or not. It's a beautiful gal with a beautiful name. Here's the Captain David Greer. Best helmsman I ever had on one of my two-bit boats. How about his pitch, Cap? No. Uh, to friends and shipmates, Mike, without your help and support, I, uh, I couldn't have pulled this off. To my beautiful wife, who is a <laughs> fine fisherman's daughter, who has sacrificed a great deal to raise our two beautiful girls, all of whom I love and cherish every day of my life. Um, endless horizons. Dad? Um, endless horizons and new beginnings. New beginnings. New beginnings. New beginnings. New beginnings. Okay, it's time. Come on, get over here. Come on, photo. Tommy should get in the photo too. You and Tommy have six billion selfies. You can take one family photo. You I press know. that, I guess. Okay, go. good. <laughs> Don't screw All up. Right. Count of three. Everyone say Mary. 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 Okay. Three, two, one. Mary. Mary. <laughs> Somebody Stop check my that voice phone. ID. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's cool. You all right? Yeah. 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 yeah sorry. Right. <laughs> Sirens call the ships out to sea. She's supposed to be good luck. And of course, she has to be half naked. Nice siren, Tommy. Wrap it up. Let the waves crash over you. Let the waves crash over you. Let them send you off to sea. Or safely off to sea. You. <laughs>
hung over from the margaritas? No. I'm just... I don't know. Nervous? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, me too. Mike and Tommy are already topside. We're gonna have to watch that kid. He thinks he can reel in our daughter with those cheap tats. Years worked on me. No. Jay thinks that the, the wood on the siren bow it dates back over 300 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow, what a find. <laughs> Greeks thought sirens were just demons in disguise. And the ships were at their beck and call. Well, I'm less worried about demons. I'm more worried about that shitty loan rate. It's gonna be okay. I feel it. I just want to make you proud. I am proud. You're the captain. You're my captain. You sure about that? Yes. Nothing in the rear view. No. No, it's just us now. Clear sailing. Clear sailing. Yes. <laughs> 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 Trim's looking good. Brief the main. Get a catch like day in an hour. Aye, aye. Hey, Mike wants to know, chicken or grouper? Chicken. Grouper. <laughs> Chicken's cool, I guess. Rock and bikini. What's happened to the rest of it? Where are your surf shorts? It's no surfing on a sailboat, Dad. Copy that. What do you want? Chicken or grouper? Grouper. Where's your sister? Um, Picasso's deep into her latest masterpiece. I have no control over her. Help Mike with the sides. Watch and learn. You'll be doing it for real paying customers come season. Is it true? What's that? What Jay said about boats just turning up with no crew on board, vanishing into the ether. Jay had one too many free tequilas. Plus, he's sore about losing his best captain. No one just vanishes. Stuff happens on the open season. Not all of it's good, you know that. Yeah. It's 
kind of like on land, huh? Yeah. Go help Mike. And put on some shorts before your dad has a heart attack. Drifting. Tommy? Tommy? you raise the anchor? She wants us to keep going. Oh my god. Tommy. Tommy. Tommy, come downstairs. Tommy, come on. That's an order. drop him off in Abaco. So you abandoned him. You left Tommy behind? He wasn't Tommy anymore. She's gonna hate you if you don't tell her everything. Why don't you just talk to her about, about what? What happened? What, Sarah? The someone she's crushing on went totally batshit? All she needs to know is it wasn't working out. His uncle fishes these open channels. They pick him up this week. So that's it? We just leave him here? Alone? He came at me with a knife, Sarah. 
I can't have him on the boat around the girls, especially Lindsay. Hey, I've known that kid for four years. I, I plucked him out of the juvie program. When his own family wouldn't even stop to show him a fishing boat. No one cares about that kid more than me, but he's got... He's got problems. That we can't help him with. We're all works in progress. Okay. Hey. After everything we've been through. I will not allow this to fail. I know how you feel about Tom, no. baby. I'm so sorry. I cannot believe you both are gonna pretend like nothing happened. No, that's not true. We're all just We're in the same boat. No, I didn't really say that, Lindsay. That? Tommy is the only person that I had here. I have nobody to talk to. You can talk to me, baby. But Come on. How can I talk to you? What? How can I trust Lindsay. you if you fucking cheated on Dad? All good? Oh. Come on. You should have just told him when you first found out. I. It was wrong of me to, to ask your silence and drag you into this whole dumb mess. I'm so sorry. Sarah, no, Sarah, I'm so sorry. No one dragged I'm... me. I <laughs> did what I did because I care about both of you. <laughs> it was a one time thing with that asshole, Sarah. David knows that. And when we make mistakes, God knows I've had my fair share. Mm -hmm. hmm? This boat belongs to the two of you. It connects you. It's gonna take us all to a better place. I know that. Mm -hmm. I really believe that. Right? Mm -hmm. We'll be fine. Shoving off in 30. All right, Cap. <clears throat> what about uh, Mike Alvarez? You two were close. There was nothing there? No. No, my... Mike was like a younger brother to David. We were family. We were a work in progress. David liked to say that. It was the only time I ever strayed. Okay. You said your daughter Mary was the first one in your family to be affected. Why do you think that was? I don't know. I... Maybe because she's the youngest and... children believe the things that we don't. She fed on that. She, she used that. She... And that's why in the end I had to destroy her. I... I... I had to destroy her, because she was... <laughs> I'm gonna take a little break. I'll let you gather your thoughts. I told you you wouldn't believe me. I'm not here to believe you, and I'm not here to judge you on what you did or didn't do with your marriage. But Sarah, between you and me, it's not looking good. Well, I know it's not looking good. It's just, it's what happens. You expect me to sit here and nod my head and believe that some spirit or some entity came on board and overtook everyone on the ship? Put yourself in my position. If you want to see your girls again, you need to tell me something that makes sense. Are you gonna let me finish? 
I will. But then you need to tell me something I can use. Because they can charge you with abandonment and sabotage, but I can charge you with murder. Mary? Mary? Mary. Mary. Mary, come on. Oh, shit. Mary! David! David! Come on. She's been crashed out for the last hour. Dreaming of dolphins. No, but someone was holding the door closed on me from the other side. Oh, it's an old ship. Some of humanity. It's bound to be some expansion in the wood. Someone, someone closed the door on me, David, and there were the footprints, wet footprints. Kevin Lindsay, just messing with you, you know? After what happened with Tommy, she probably blames both of us. But Mike, Mike told me what went down. I'll talk to her, okay? No, no, don't do that. We'll work it out. Let her be. But maybe you and Mike could just check on the rest of the ship for me. That's a creature. Look it up. Wait, we don't have Wi-Fi. Now? One bar! Hallelujah. Oh, damn it, Mary! Miracle of miracles, we're almost at two bars. David? What's up? I just checked in with Abaco. Tommy hanged himself last night in the hospital. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Has anybody heard from Tommy? Do we know if he made it back to Florida? I checked in with Abaco. But the uh, channel's been a bit cranky. Sure, he's back by now. Mary, stop it with your tears. But I want it out. You will come out, baby. You just gotta give it time, okay? We forgot some dinner for the lady. Lady? Yeah, Score has an imaginary friend now. I hear her talking to her up in the upper bunk all night. Don't play with scary Mary. Mary! Shit! Oh, are you okay? What the hell was that? Say something! What did you do? Mary! Are you okay, sweetie? Why would she do that? You know, sweetie. What's gotten into you? Now you think about what you did. And you're going to apologize to your sister. You hear me? You see this? Since you gave him more time on the house. Keep your voice down. No, don't tell me to keep my voice down, David. Something is, something is, something's wrong here, okay? And it wasn't just Mike. I, I heard this. No, I, 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 I thought, I thought I saw. Sorry, Sarah, Sarah, no, we, both, we just both need some sound sleep. Sleep, we're, we're David, David, in, yeah, yeah. who can sleep after the past two days? Oh my God. After everything that's happened, David! 
Maybe. Maybe we should just turn back. Oh. Something's very, very wrong here, David. And I'm hearing things and I'm seeing things that I can't even explain. And, and the worst of it is that I... I feel it. I feel it. And I know you do, too. What I know is we're too far to turn back even if we wanted to. <gasps> Sarah! Sarah. Sarah. I, I know you're super stressed. We both are. We... We just had to run a bad luck. No, it's no, bad luck. David, it's not bad luck. It's like, it's like we're cursed. Cursed? Yes, it's like this ship is cursed. Or is it me? I keep thinking maybe it's me. Maybe I, maybe I Everything is riding on the success of this ship. Now, we make it to Hamilton. We will. And I don't want to hear any more bullshit about fucking curses. David! That's it! That's it! Lindsay, hey, you feeling better, honey? Mary? Ready to come out and be a good girl? What's going on? I don't know. But it's gonna be okay, I promise. I promise. How is she? Yeah, bleeding stop. Lindsay's putting her back to bed. Are you having them too? The dreams? Are you? Mike and I are gonna take shifts, help me through the night. We'll make Hamilton by tomorrow morning if we beat the weather. We're not anchoring the ship anymore.
Captain Egan departs Charleston heading 70 degrees southeast. Execute a new course setting. 42 north, 78.2 west. Heading 19 degrees. Sure about that? Making good time. Just do it, Mike. Three, three instances of crews gone missing. And you didn't think to share this? Why? This, this happened at least three times. E ever since her first voyage, every time this ship went out onto open water, people disappeared, David. Nobody even knows who this ship really belongs to. It belongs to us. Horrible things happen on board this ship, David. Jay was right. You're a fisherman. You know not to go near that ship. You think that just by slapping some fresh paint and sails on her, you can erase the past? It's not about the past. It's about the future. What? There is no future on this thing. Sanfrey, the last owner, he had a son, and, and I think she took him, David. It's like that legend of the, of the woman who lost her children. It's... Enough! Enough! I did what I did to get us away from that marina! To, to, to get us a, 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 away from the constant bullshit! This is about the future! I did what I did to get us away from him! No, he's gone, David. He left months ago. He's not there. Turned us against each other. Wore us down. It happened three times, you know that, that at least three times that the captains, the crews, the families, that they all disappeared. She sent them all to the same place. Maybe it's where she's the strongest, where she was drowned. Sarah, just because people met with similar circumstances, it doesn't mean that something bad was coming for them. You said it yourself, things can happen on the open water. And if what you're telling me is true, and something was pulling you, 
towards a certain direction, why not turn around and go the other way? It's too late to turn back. We've gone too far. Then get off the goddamn boat. Well, I guess you're not a sailor. Because the, the thing about boats is there's nowhere to run. Dear, out in the middle of the ocean on 80 foot of wood and steel, and you look true horror in the face, and she stares right back at you. you she was never gonna let us go. You really believe this? affecting you this whole time. Ever since you first came upon her. It's been affecting us all. The coordinates of a past journey saw all correspond with ours. Almost perfectly. In the end. It's always the same heading. She's taking us the same place she took the other. There's something wrong with Mary. Mary! 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 Mary, Mary, Mary look Mary. at me! She won't answer me! Mary, look at me! God damn it, she's freezing! Yeah, along with the radio and the Wi-Fi. Cell phones are missing, except for what's in the Jenny. We have no more gas. I can get a number three at full, but without the others, we have to wait for the wind. No GPS or sonar. How will we even find Hamilton? And Mary's still sick. Oh. The hell with Hamilton. I'm plotting a course to the nearest shipping lane. Fire up a flare, get picked up. We're getting off this fucking Hulk. Mike. What did you do with the satellite phone? It's gone. I threw it over the side. You won't need it. I know you don't want to go back. I can hear it in your voice, Dave. You and everything you love. It all belongs to her now. You thought you could bring your family to the sea. For a second chance. This only ends in death. For Sarah, the girls, you, for me, for all of us. Listen to me, Mike. We're gonna channel into the shipping lanes and get you and Mary help. Help, help, there's no help. You hear her, Dave. She's calling the ship home. There's some water in the thermos. Just stay cool. Stay cool. Keep cool! You're too old and scared. You must obey her. I'll help you gut them, rip their skin from their bodies. Open the fucking door, David! You need me! You don't have the courage! 
courage to do what needs to be done. You need me. Tommy? Tommy? What are you doing here? I came back. For you. This ends. Ends? Now, you'll see him soon, Sarah. 
I was thrown from the boat. I tried to find the girls, but I, I was too weak. I couldn't, I couldn't get to them. She almost had me, but I destroyed her. I destroyed her and now I'm free. She'll never get those girls. They're mine. That's all that matters. I want to see my daughters now. What now? I'll give her a few minutes with her children. Let us see what's important in life. If she sticks to a fantasy story, then push for a psych evaluation, institutional commitment. Sometimes when people are in the red, they create stories and make themselves believe it because of some severe trauma or guilt. Either way, Lieutenant, you were right. She definitely believes what she's saying.
Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like to view more of our videos. Have a nice day.